Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Microsoft has just released a research paper around R star math. The model is not released yet, but I believe that it is going to be very, very soon. But it seems that the research behind it looks quite interesting. And the reason why I am covering this research in this video is because I believe that that is the direction generally I am observing the small and large models are taking going forward. This whole thing revolves around reflection. In this video, I am going to describe not only R star math, but also this methodology and the direction this model and various other models are taking, especially in the, uh, the start of the first quarter of 2025. So let's get right into it. So what has happened is that Microsoft has come up with this new model which has been designed to solve mathematical problems. This research seems quite unique because it uses a combination of two smaller language models or SLMs and a technique called Monte Carlo Tree Search or MCTS. So it uses two SLMs and MCTS to think deeply and come up with solution. So as you can see on the screen, this is in action. So from the left, you can see they have this Monte Carlo tree search. Monte Carlo tree search or MCTS is a decision making algorithm that helps this R star math model to explore different possible solutions to a problem. The way it works is quite simple. First step, it starts with the initial math problem. It then generates multiple possible next steps. Then it evaluates each next step to see how promising it is. And then it selects the most promising next step and repeats the process. Eventually, it selects the best solution from the explored possibilities. And that's how it prepares this trajectory. And then comes the next component, which is called as process reward model. A process reward model is the component of this model that helps evaluate the quality of each step in the solution process, which I just described. Process reward model is trained to predict a reward label for each step and that indicates how good or bad the step is. So there are three main components of this R star. If you have to uh, divide it first is policy model which is a small language model that generates possible next steps in the solution process. Then we have process reward model, which is another small language mo model that evaluates the quality of each step. And then we have this Monte Carlo tree search, which is the algorithm that explores different possible solutions and selects the best one. The way it works is quite interesting. So as I said, uh, the policy model generates possible next step in the solution process. So for example, if uh, you see the question on your screen that Bill walks and then there is some uh, mathematical step and then, you know, south, east in a direction, how ma many miles is he in a direct line from a starting point? Express your answer as a decimal to the nearest hundred. Now, again, as I said earlier, so the policy model is generating possible next step in this whole solution. And then the process reward model evaluates the quality of each step. And then Monte Carlo research explores different possible solutions and selects the best one. The process is repeated until a solution is found. So this is how this thing is working. Now, uh, if you closely look at this, the previous MCTS approach is primarily generated in natural language uh, chain of thoughts. But LLMs often suffer from hallucinations producing incorrect and irrelevant step, yet still arrive at the correct answer by chance sometime. And But these are really, really challenging to detect and eliminate. And that is where this uh, code execution augmented chain of thought they have introduced, which is quite interesting, where the policy model is generating a one step NL code or chain of thought alongside its corresponding Python code where the chain of thought is embedded as a Python comment. As you can see, only generations with successfully executed Python code are retained as a valid candidate. And that is what it is happening. I would suggest that you repeat this part of the video to understand it better. And uh, I think that it is self-explanatory if you really think about it. 
now if you look at this broader example this is again it they are showing bit of a more detail about what exactly is happening here so if you look at this diagram what they have done here is they are showing the self reflection during r star methods deep thinking as i explained earlier so th this r star method is sort of a self evolvable system two style reasoning approach that achieves a state of the art math reasoning that rivals and even sometimes even surpasses open ai's o1 on challenging math competition benchmarks with a model size as small as 7 billion also unlike solutions relying on superior llms for data synthesis this r star method leverages small language models with monte carlo research as i just explained to you to establish a self evolutionary process that iteratively generates higher quality training data so not only i believe that this self reflection self evolving thing is quite interesting in solving very very complicated math questions this is going to solve a lot of mysteries of the universe because everything is mathematics at the core of it um, heart so i think this is going to be really really interesting when this model comes out i am very very keen to uh, try it out to install it locally to see how it works and as soon as this model comes out i am going to show you a hands on local demo as how it works i hope that you enjoyed it uh, please let me know in the comments what do you think about it because researches uh, like this they are not coming that frequently as they used to in the last year because things are really becoming competitive now and i think that the ai honeymoon is getting over very very rapidly and only the things which work will survive so all those hype around reflection model and that sort of stuff i think that is a thing of past the thing which is going to work is going to stay here so i hope uh, this made sense let me know in the comments what do you think also i wanted to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iagent Agent Bot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack, and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Check them out and let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please please do me a favor and share the channel and the videos among your network because that is the only marketing I do and I. totally rely on you guys to market it if you like please no compulsion uh, compulsion of course and if you are already subscribed then uh, please share it on social media or wherever you like thank you for all the support really really appreciate it